Lindsay Grenzer with the Ice Resin Creative Team. Uh, welcome to Technique Tuesday. Today we're going to be working on metal stamping. So let's get started. All right, so we've got metal stamps and you can get them in a variety of different sizes. Today I'm working with a six millimeter. Um, I'm just going to do a simple XOXO. So we've got those metal stamps already selected. A lot of these have a little squiggle already engraved in the stamp so that you can see which side is right side up. I also like to add just by simply drawing on what letter it is so it's pretty easy for me while I'm stamping to know what I've got. We've also got our little metal finding that we're just going to be stamping. It's a blank, our bench block, a pro polish cloth, steel wool, typically a chasing hammer. I don't have the fancy one so this is what I've got, a sharpie and a ruler. Also really important is a nice sturdy work bench that you're working on because you're going to be hammering here so it's always better to be sturdy. So I think one of the most common questions is, is how do you get your letters to be straight? And I honestly find that just by simply doing a little line with a ruler is the most effective way of doing that. And I just kind of draw with a sharpie and voila, you've got your nice little line. The other thing too is drawing little black dots for yourself so you know approximately where these letters are going to sit. And that way if you're like, you know what, I just don't like the way that looks, it's not centered enough, you can always just wipe it off and start over. Um, the next thing is, is you're going to place your metal stamp in your hand, and again, I've got my letter so I know which side is right side up. Just sort of brace it between your fingers, resting your forearm on the table and your hand on the bench block. You're not pushing down, you're just bracing, and two hits with the hammer. One. and you're done metal stamping. Then you take your steel wool and just gently go over your surface of your blank. And check that out, all that Sharpie is coming off. Looks awesome. Now I think whenever I do this, and I don't know if you can see this very well, I actually didn't stamp very well in that X. Not quite as easy to go back in, but sometimes you can kind of wiggle it around and find the right spot and just put enough pressure at an angle to finish off the lines. Okay, and just, you know, practice. Practice makes perfect. You'll do fine after a while. Take the black Sharpie and actually squiggle in the hammered lines of the stamp. Steal it again. Take your pro polish cloth and you're just going to buff out and shine up that little finding for yourself. If you're wanting a more vintage look and you like that patina, then keep it on. Don't shine it off with the pro polish cloth and you've got your little finding. So we've got our finished little XOXO finding and it's a happy little charm. So I hope you guys enjoyed our technique today, and if you're wanting more techniques, please feel free to join us on iceresin.com. Thanks so much, guys.